This, roll video, is Neo. It is a human looking robot made. It can do your dishes, it can clean stuff, it can fold your laundry. This is real. You can pre-order one today with an expected delivery next year. Now, Neo is not cheap. It's about $20,000. And if the price tag didn't turn you off, this might. Yes, Neo is technically a robot, but it is operated by a human being wearing a headset. In other words, a human being is watching its and your every move. So let's talk about that and also a little bit about the rise of what I'll call the robot car. Joining us now, Wall Street Journal senior personal tech columnist and CBC contributor Joanna Stern, who got to recently test out neo what was your hot take on this on this robot made well look there's there's a lot of hot takes because this was crazy i mean that was my first reaction and this wasn't the first time i've met neo i've been working on a book and so i've i've met neo previously but anytime i meet this robot i sort of think wow we are in the jetsons holy crap look at this thing it's doing things in this house it's it's doing the things we would always dreamt of the dirty work we don't want to do the literally like folding you know your clothes or putting your clothes in the hamper here it's arm wrestling me i mean like look all these things yet as you who said who won the arm wait a minute hold on you can't just say you arm wrestle the robot and then move on who won the arm wrestle like did you feel i mean it's a robot it could like snap your femur or something you would think you would think but this robot is designed very differently it's designed really for safety and it's actually not that much stronger than a human as you're seeing right here i asked it to crack a walnut and it couldn't I mean, it's obviously hilarious. It just starts hitting it on the table. But no, <laughs> I, I, I almost broke. Uh, look, I'll tell you right. I I broke the robot's arm. Okay, I I injured the robot yes. uh, because I was I was wearing the headset to to navigate this. And so, as you mentioned, the way this really works right now, and everything I saw this robot do wasn't autonomous. It was done with a teleoperator wearing a VR headset controlling the robot. And so when and you put on critical, the headset- that's critical, I think, right? Like so there's a human being, this is a robot, but there's somewhere there's a human making it do the stuff that we're watching it do. There is, at least right now. And that is what this company is betting on. They need the data of this robot doing things in homes to make the autonomous versions. And this is the race happening right now in all humanoid robotics. They are tr or, or home robotics, but all, all robotics, really. They need the training data, right? Very similar to how our generative AI systems are trained on the internet and all types of bodies mm. of, of information. What they don't have is real world video of people doing things in their homes to teach these robots how to do it. Yep. And so One X Technologies, this startup in Palo Alto is saying, hey, we're gonna put our robot in your home and we're gonna teach you it. And the CEO is very honest about it. He just says, look, this is the equation. We give you the robot, you have to pay $20,000 for it. We could talk about that. And then you're gonna give us the data and we're gonna make these robots way better. And in five years time, yeah. they're gonna be doing a lot of this on its own. Well, the Roomba probably knows your house too. Very quickly, you know, I'm now I'm about to be a year in on Waymo. I'm not as I'm not as advanced as you, Joanna, but took Waymos in LA. I was in a couple of Waymos yesterday. I posted some videos. Um, all due respect to all the taxi and Uber drivers and Lyft drivers out there. That's my video from last night. I've got my, my Grateful Dead plan. I got to choose my music. This felt like the future of transportation to me. What, what's the Waymo and robotic car opportunity here? Look, a lot of what we're t talking about with the humanoids is actually where self-driving cars has been. They needed Waymo many years ago, starting actually in 2010, started training their cars on driving video. Tesla's been doing it. Waymo's doing it. Zooks is doing it, owned by Amazon. This is where it's going. And they're, and we're seeing it now happen. You're seeing it in, in your experience last night. Holy crap, right? You're like, wow, this drives really well. There's a lot of benefits to it. And that's the training that had to happen over a long period of time with a lot of safety in mind. Yeah. Similar thing in home robotics.